Hello, Sam. Great to have you here. Hi. Thank you for talking yeah. to us. Uh, maybe yeah, you can start by telling our audience about yourself and about your research interests. Sure. Yeah. So since uh, 2009, I've been a professor here at Texas A&M University in the U.S. Here, I lead a research group focusing broadly on analog mixed signal IC design, but specializing in wireline transceivers. Uh, before I came to a and I worked a few years at Intel in the advanced design group, uh, also in uh, looking at uh, electrical and optical wireline transceivers. At the time, we were working in the very first uh, FinFET process at the time. Uh, and before that, I was doing my PhD from Stanford, where I focused on optical transceivers for chip-to-chip -chip communication. Great. Thank you. Uh, you attended the recent ISSCC uh, last month, and uh, you'll be heading to CICC in a few weeks' time. How does this uh, CERDES uh, training course align with the... Um, state-of-the-art publications uh, at these elite conferences? I would say it's very well aligned. Uh, for example, uh, just a few weeks ago at ISSEC, there were two transceivers present, presented, two long-reach transceivers presented operating above 200 gigabits per second. Uh, those were from MediaTek and Marvell. Mm -hmm. And in a few weeks, there'll be one presented at CICC from Broadcom. And these are very advanced transceivers with uh, significant DSP high-speed DAC-based transmitters and then uh, massively time-relieved uh, ADC front ends. And we're going to cover, um, you know, all these concepts in, in the class that uh, we'll be offering. Great. Um, what are the, the main highlights uh, the participants can expect uh, from your course? Yeah, so um, this is just an outline of the, the course program here. Um, so at a high level, what we're going to do is first look at how these transceivers are architected um, to operate above 200 gigabits per second to handle the high uh, channel loss at the effective Nyquist frequency, the stringent clock jitter uh, specifications that we have to deal with. And then we're going to look at the transistor level implementations of all the major building blocks, uh, including uh, you know the high speed DAC based transmitters, uh, uh, high performance uh, analog uh, receiver front ends, the high speed time relieved ADCs, along with digital equalization implementations, uh, high performance clocking circuits, and at the end we'll talk about uh, optical transceiver front ends for extended distance communication. Okay, very comprehensive. Uh, Sam, uh, how do you see the, the wireline road ahead? Um, what are the challenges that must be overcome? Well, uh, moving forward, it gets very interesting, especially beyond 200 gigabits per second. Yeah, the next natural uh, Ethernet speed uh, per lane rate is 448 gigabits per second. And for that, we don't have a lot of channel bandwidth to, to work with. And we have a lot of loss at the effective mm. uh, Nyquist frequency just to get out of the package and just to get to the board edge. Um, so in order to address that, uh, architectures are uh, seriously considering alternative modulation schemes other than just the most common uh, PAM4 modulation, such as uh, advanced multitone or multi-carrier signaling or higher order PAM. And we're going to touch on some of those uh, throughout the, the course. Um, and just from a circuits perspective, um, we really need to, to implement uh, front ends that have extremely high bandwidth. So that involves looking at advanced uh, bandwidth extension techniques in both the transmitter and receiver front ends and efficient time relieved ADC architectures. And ultimately, I think I think the ultimate solution is to actually have a co-packaged optical transceiver, which actually you see nowadays from from Broadcom and their big uh, switch chips. Um, so we're going to touch on that at the very last lecture of the class. Great. Uh, in your opinion, um, what's the target audience for this training course? I would say nominally it's analog mixed signal IC design engineers that have some exposure to CERTES and uh, are 
looking to take that next step into learning about the advanced uh, design techniques for for the uh, current uh, high performance uh, Surtees transceiver architectures. But but overall broadly, I would say anyone who's interested in learning about the Surtees uh, area will benefit because we're going to start with the fundamentals. And then rapidly build up to uh, the advanced techniques and, you know, look at the key references along the way. Thank you so much, Sam, for your time. And we look forward to your course in May. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. I also look forward to the course and also robust interaction with any of the students who are, who are taking the class. Thank you.